In today's lesson, we're going to be looking at some of the characteristics of networks, the importance of what we call protocols and standards. Have a look at our previous learning and check that you have an understanding of what a LAN and a WAN is. Pause the video now and check your notes. We've also looked at what is a client and what is a server. Please pause the video and check you understand both of these two terms. Here are the key words that we've been thinking about so far in this unit. There are four different ways that we can set up a network. The way we set up a network is called network topology. Don't get confused between network architecture, which is client and server. Topology stands for the way that our network is arranged. We can see these as ring, bus, mesh, and star. We're going to have a look at these over the next few pages. As I've said already, topology is the way we lay out a network. The topology affects the cost, performance, and the ease of setup. It also affects the security. In the exam, you're going to have to understand the different types of networks, but also know about how topology affects these factors. The first topology is a bus topology. Now, a bus topology, all nodes are connected to one central cable. Look at the language we're using here. Nodes and cables, not wires and computers. This means it's actually cheap because there's very little cabling needed. Data travels both ways along this cable, but that means we can have data collisions. This can cause issues in communication, and it's quite a slow network as well. If there's a problem with the cable, then the whole network is going to fail. And you can see on this diagram, the server is also connected along the same wire. So we might have issues with the whole network if we have one problem on that wire. They're really only used traditionally in old fashioned networks over very small areas. Nowadays, you wouldn't probably have a bus network. You'd more likely have a wireless network. But it was one of the first networks that you will have seen. The second type of topology is a ring network. Again, there's usually only one cable and data travels in one direction. This means there's no data collisions. This, however, does mean there can be quite poor security. And if part of the network breaks, we can isolate whole sections of the network. This type of network was developed to become a token ring. A token ring ensures that we don't have collisions. As data is being passed around the network, the token is also passed around the network. More modern versions of this network allowed data to travel in both directions around the uh, cable. The next type of network topology is a mesh network. Mesh networks can be full meshes or partial meshes. This means that every single node is connected to every other node within this local area network. That means that packets can travel in different directions between nodes. So if there's heavy traffic or a cable breaks, there's an alternative route that the packet can transfer through to. This is very expensive to set up. There's an awful lot of cabling required, but also you're going to have to need a lot of switches and complication in terms of the routing of packages. A partial mesh is very similar. Most connectors, most computers are connected to most other computers, but there might not be a link from every single node to every other node on the network. The final type of topology is a star topology. This is what we use in school. All the cables connect to a central hub or switch. And therefore, the data doesn't share one cable. There's fewer data collisions and the network is generally faster. But it is expensive because it requires an awful lot of cabling. 
In our school, we have several different computer rooms. With a star network, each computer room is likely to have a switch with cables to every computer. Let's have a look at a situation. The head of design technology has recently acquired an additional classroom and is investing in some new CAD or CAM equipment, so computer aided design or computer aided machinery, an embroidery machine and a CNC router, a 3D printer and an A2 canvas printer. He suggested he would like to connect a desktop computer to each device so students can produce their work on that computer and output the results. And he doesn't see why these computers should be cabled together. He thinks it's some necessary extra time, money and hassle. Draw up a list of reasons to present to the teacher explaining why it would be more beneficial to use a network. Pause the video now and try and complete this. Once you've done this, look at the answers which are at the bottom of the screen in red and see how many of them you manage to get. We now have two key words, standards and protocols. A standard is a definition or a format that's been approved by a recognised standard organisation. It's known as the standard that everybody should use, the de facto standard by the industry. And a protocol is a set of rules or procedures which are used for communication and transmitting data between electronic devices, such as computers or nodes on a network. And I want you to use the internet to research the different protocols and their purpose. You can create a table for this to explain what the protocol is and what it does. You need to include all of the protocols that are listed on this page. Please pause the video and complete that now.